talking about. Just when I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! ah. Got it! Holy crap! Man. Oh, yes! Oh, whoa, whoa. I got something big, Wilma. Oh, man. It ain't a gar either. It's a drum. Oh, man. On the crankbait. Dang. If that would have just been a bass or a crappie, wrong kind. Ah, that maybe. That, that last one I had was not. It was. Yep, yeah, at least it's a fish. All right, I got my first real fish of the day, guys. About a two pound drum. Caught him on the, once again, the Bomber Model A, a different one from earlier. This one's chartreuse crawfish pattern, brown, orange, and chartreuse. I just missed a bass or a crappie. I don't know what it was. So I threw it back over. All right. Hey, it's a fish. All right, guys. Put up one hell of a fight in this current. If drum, if drum are biting a crankbait, good cast. Wonderful. If drum are biting a crankbait, that means the fish are biting good. Because that's very rare they do, really. And I caught a bass on a crankbait earlier. Here, 30 seconds. My God! It is a channel cat. 
He's five or six pounds though, hon. The bobber, 20 pound braid guys, and a red wiggler. <laughs> Boy, he's fighting like a bowfin though. I don't know, these. He's only about four pounds, but boy, he sure fought harder than that. I don't know what the deal was with him. He's just one hell of a damn fighter. Woo! Ah. All right, let's get a good look at him if he quits wiggling. Not bad, folks. Woo! All right. Nice. Hey, hi. He put up one hell of a fight. I swore I had a bow fin because of how hard he fought. But it wasn't. But, huh? Oh, you just lost your worm lid. Way to go. Yeah, for that one. All right, we're gonna get him back in, guys. Bad bluegill. Not quite seven, but about six. Not bad. Pretty cool. Hold on. I'm zooming. Bad drum. Good job, honey. Yeah, I'm on Zoom. Oh, man, I just missed another nice bluegill. Big bass, large mouth, holy cow. Oh my goodness, that's two nice bass today. This one's even bigger. Real large mouth too. We're getting a buffet today guys. Channel cat, drum, sunfish, and bass so far. Oh boy. Oh wow, I got it. All right. He even gave me my worm back. What a nice guy. Not bad, guys. Nice little largemouth. That guy drove by, he seen me holding that fish. Nice little largemouth out of this brush pile. I'm just jigging a worm around. Getting a bite about every throw. All right. It's one foot deep right here. One foot. But you can't see the bottom. It's dingy enough you can't see the bottom. Strange. Whoa! Oh my God! Look at that one. That's a hoss. That is a hoss male bluegill right here, guys. In one foot of water right below my feet where I just reeled in a bass and it didn't even spook him. This guy has got some girth on him. That is the second 
the biggest bluegill I've caught out of this river system. I do believe. Gosh! Well, so much for showing you very long, but it was a hoss. another bluegill not intentional but another bluegill These are some nice panfish. Almost everyone's nice. There's a nice long ear here, guys. I've never seen so many in one little area. Alright, pretty, real pretty long ear. Wow. Well, I've never encountered one. Looks like I got a gar on the bomber crankbait. I kind of gave up on catfishing toward the end. They just weren't biting. Bluegill quit biting. She caught two bass on a swim bait, so I decided to throw a lure back on. And uh, got this spotted gar. I think it's a spotted. It's either that or a long nose. Can't quite tell yet. Yeah, it's a long nose. I'm gonna go to the car. I can't handle this no more. They're eating me alive. They are. They won't leave me alone. All right, folks. Let's get a look at him. Nice little long nose. Yeah, but because the bugs are that bad, I have to have my mosquito suit from now on. I can't come here without it. Yeah, but it's in the truck. I just... God, now my pliers are over there. I'd just rather be done anyway. It's not, it's not mosquitoes, it's sweat bees. The ones that actually, in horse flies. God, they won't leave me alone. It's mosquitoes too. It's both. All right. All right, folks, let's get him back in. Yeah, they're just gonna bite me to death. That's the only reason I have to go. I gotta get my stuff as quick as I can. Well, folks, that ends our day. We didn't do terrible. We didn't get any flatheads this time. I did get the one nice channel, the gar, a couple bass. It is officially one day away from a full moon, as you can see right there. Uh, caught a nice drum. I caught a few nice bluegill and sunfish. She caught a couple bass. It was all in all a fair day. We could have done a lot worse, but we could have done better. I really wanted a bowfin and a flathead, and I got, once again, I got a channel, uh, but at least I did get the one channel. Uh, all I want to do is just keep trying and never give up. This is one nasty brush pile over here, and uh, they are all inside of it. The problem is it's so vast and so big around that you can't get anything underneath it only fish the edges of it it's probably 30 feet to 40 feet in diameter which i'm getting ready to show you from up above and you ain't you can only see half of it from here that's one half of it what causes this is one long tree fell across and then it just builds up right here they need to cut it out with a chainsaw to get it to go through uh it's very very full of fish there's tons of buffalo you can hear making sucking noises below it 
I caught my channel right over there. That's where you seen me fishing down there. Caught the gar at the end there, a bunch of bluegill. Wilma fished off the root wad of the tree, that end of it. Caught quite a few. Uh, beautiful sunset going on. Real pretty. And uh, I could not get no fish below this gutter. What this is, sometimes there's water that comes out of here and sometimes there ain't. It's more likely to be coming out of there during drought season, which is backwards. But it's because these are rice farms right here. And during periods of low rain, which it hasn't rained for a week here finally, they steal water out of this ditch and pump it through their fields to keep them wet and it just comes back out this gutter. So it's, it's actually crystal clear as it's coming out. Uh, I, there's times where it comes out three times out of mount uh, during heavy watering. So uh, I usually catch a lot of fish where that influx of water comes in, but they just weren't there today. I don't know why. You think they would be. Um, just didn't do any good on that part. I did catch a few on the lures and a few on worms. All in all, it was a fair day. I think I'm going to stay home tomorrow. And then I'm off Monday and Tuesday from work. Monday is the actual real full moon, I believe, or Sunday night. I may do another 11-point trip and try to get that PB goggle eye finally. Uh, they weren't biting at all that one day, but it's going to be a best day that day. It's either good or best, one of the two. Maybe I'll have better luck than I did last time. So look for that video coming up next. As usual, hit that like button and please subscribe.